Hello there, welcome back to the channel and today is time for a review of the brand new Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds record Wild God. No, I did not forget about it, I was going to review it, but I want to give it a couple or more days and re-listens before I actually film this. Uh, so anyway, this is 18 studio album by Australian rock band Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and this is the first album in almost five years uh, after Ghost Teen and in a way uh, this feels like a ending chapter that started with Push the Sky Away back in 2013 with its moodier tone and subdued nature uh, that a specific sound they expanded into their next two uh, releases Skeleton Tree and Ghosting and now we have Wild God and I can freely say that Wild God sounds as a continuation of that sound albeit uh, different uh, because compared to Skeleton Tree and Ghosting albums that were drenched in tragedy and despair uh, Wild God on the other hand feels and sounds hopeful but still retaining similar elements from the previous three records. Uh, it is a mix of sounds that we heard on Liar of Orpheus and Ghostine. It is an album heavily influenced and inspired by gospel music and I think it sounds amazing. But like I said, it still retains the elements of the previous records, Ghosting especially, the, the spiritual aspect of it. But the thing is with Ghosting, as I said on uh, the video I've done, uh, I covered all uh, Nick Cave albums. You can check that video if you haven't. The link will be up here. Uh, it was way too long. It, there were not enough variety. It was fully synth album with no band effort. It was only Nick Cave and uh, Warren Ellis. But um, this album feels definitely an improvement over it, in my opinion. Uh, it is more focused album. Uh, it is only 40 plus minutes. It, it is more varied record than, uh, uh, than Ghosting. It all kicks off with Song of the Lake, which production-wise sounds a bit different than the rest of the record. Uh, I did not expect that when I first uh, uh, played the record, uh, after hearing all the singles, uh, this song feels, uh, like I said, production-wise different. It is loud, there is that wall of noise and sound, it's blasting, it's abrasive. Uh, on the ears, uh, I like it, but I it was, it caught me by surprise. In the first half of the record definitely has more uh, variety to it, uh, especially the, the title track and my favorite song uh, on the record, uh, Conversion. It is a slow burner that builds and builds and builds, you know, starts off with only simple piano uh, and it builds and it kind of explodes to the most satisfying endings in, uh, in uh, the band's career in my opinion and that goes uh, with Wild God as well. Uh, those two songs are my favorite from this record. The band experiments with autotune a bit on uh, Oh Wow Wow which is a tribute to Anita Lane with whom Nick Cave was involved in the early days and uh, she was involved in the songwriting in the beginning of their careers as well but she uh, passed away and this is in a way a tribute to her. Once again, the songs here sound really poetic and beautiful, but the, the lyrics, on the other hand, are not as memorable and engaging as some of the lyrics from the earlier records. Um, this is, you know, always a highlight for me for Nick Cave, but I didn't feel the lyrics this much this time around, except a couple of songs. Performances here are great. It's no longer just Nick and Warren. The whole band is involved, the instrumentation is great. Uh, I really love the usage of choir throughout this whole record. I think it added so, so much, especially like I said on conversion. I really like that second part of the song when it all explodes and Nick is just like chanting, screaming uh, over the choir. I mean, it's one of the better songs from Nick and the Bad Seeds in the last, I don't know, uh, 10 years or so, it's phenomenal. My only, my other complaint is that the album is not as varied as I hoped, especially after conversion. The last four tracks, uh, 
tempo wise are the same almost uh, nothing special is happening even though i really do like long dark night i think it's a beautiful ballad uh, i think nick sounds on it amazing definitely is more varied than ghosting and it is a much easier listening experience than ghosting was uh, it feels more peaceful and happier record than previous two and that is really felt throughout overall i think this is another great record and i'm going with 4.5 stars on it some of the highlights for me wild god the title track conversion cinnamon horses and joy so uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this record uh, do you dis uh, do you agree or disagree with my review uh, share your thoughts feelings whatever you like um, and uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one Bye.